Hello friends, I am Sparsha. Today once again a DIY video for you. Whenever someone gets time, be it in the morning, afternoon, evening or night, the favorite place to relax for all my family members is this sewing kencher. And why it shouldn't be? Each plant is a piece of art by nature and I tried to place all the best of them here and this fountain has added life to it. It was difficult to find a suitable fountain for this space in my balcony so I made this from simple materials I had with me. The process and materials which I'll show in this video not necessarily you need to use exactly the same. From this video you can get the idea and apply your creativity to make your own as per your requirement. That is the purpose of this video. Not only the fountain is too beautiful, but it also serves a very important function. I keep all my tropical and indoor plants and orchids here and they need humidity to remain healthy and bright. It is very difficult job to provide them humidity throughout the year. Though there are several methods, but in my case, this fountain is providing humidity to all these plants around it and they are very happy. I don't need to buy any expensive humidifier for it. First, we will see what are the materials I used mainly to make this. I used two pieces of plastic container like this. This is a half inch soft garden pipe. This is also a half inch pipe but firmer one. I used discarded washing machine inlet pipe for here. This soft pipe after warming by dipping into hot water can be attached to another pipe easily. I used M seal as required and with this pipe and M seal I made the main outlet for the fountain. This is a half inch pipe connector you can get easily in the hardware store and this is the pump system of the fountain. I used internal filter made for aquarium for it. It is a 15 watt pump and works with normal 220 volt power input. I will not use the lower filter part. If you want to make a smaller fountain, you can use a 4 watt pump which is also available and if you want larger one, you can use 20 watt pump. But for 10 to 12 inch height, a 15 watt pump is more than enough. In each case, remove filter from below. Now let us see the fountain from the close. I have used one of the plastic containers here. Here the water is stored and with the help of the pump, it is going up. This is the second plastic container. Now let us see what is inside the second container. Here is actually nothing. It is only meant to cover the pipe. Here I have used the former washing machine inlet pipe as I have shown earlier. Now I am switching off the power supply and I will show the rest of the parts. I made this mold with the help of m -sil over this pipe and made the outlet of the fountain. With fevicryl or uh, acrylic paint, I painted the container, pipes and all the visible things so that they are looking like a single unit. Now notice the outlet. I have attached this aquarium pump outlet with the help of a half inch pipe and the connector to the main inlet. These aquarium pumps apart from the main outlet also have small hole which is meant for air inlet for the aquarium. Normally they are closed with a cap which can be removed easily. I have removed this cap so that the force of the water will be lesser by at least 40%. Now let me show you what is inside this pump. It is very important to know as sometimes the pump 
may not function due to accumulation of algae and in such cases you need to open it and clean it to function properly and it is not at all difficult now i am reassembling the pump again and attaching the outlet of the pump with the inlet and switching on the power the fountain is running we need to keep the bottom storage tank also full now let us see how to keep the azola this azola pond will change the entire look of the fountain this azola or water lettuce or mosquito fern is a floating aquatic plant they can grow very easily in this type of small plastic tumbler but the problem is there must be water whether the fountain is running or not to solve this i have attached a pipe to this tumbler and sealed with the em seal like this so that even if the fountain is not running water level will not go below this pipe level and some water will always remain there as you can see the fountain is not running now but as well as are floating in the remaining water hope this video will help you thank you for watching it bye for now and see you in the next video thank you again